Hi, how are you? I'm glad that you joined me today. My name is Rebecca Johnson and we're going to work on some articulations and dynamics today. The first thing I want to talk about is the spiccato. Wow, wow. That's a bowing it, that is used in fast passage work. It's, uh, you'll see dots above notes and it's a very short, crisp, energetic bow, bowing that is dropped on the string rather than completely on the string. So I'm gonna give you um, a few ideas how to improve your spiccato. And the first thing is that there's always a sweet spot on each bow where the, you'll use the least amount of effort and get the best quality sound. So that's called the balance point. And you'll see on, on my bow, I put a couple tapes. Well, the pink tape is basically the center of my bow. So this is the upper half, this is the lower half. The spiccato's always played in the lower half, and um, this yellow tape is what's called the balance point. It's different for every bow, and a good way to find your balance point, um, be sure you have a rug or pillow underneath your bow, because if, you, if it falls, you don't want to break it, but um, that is the spot. See how that bow is perfectly balanced? If I moved it a little bit this way, starts to tip and if I move it that way it tips in the other direction so the yellow is where I want to be the area I want to be around you don't have to worry is it in in the perfect place just as long as you're in the lower half and somewhere in that vicinity this piece has a lot of spiccato in it so a good excerpt to practice this on is um, towards the beginning it starts in bar 11 if you have any music and here I'm going to play it under tempo just so that you can see how much bow I'm using and and um, where I'm playing Our goal here is to make each note as articulated as possible and very even. So you're not going to want to have long, short, long, short, anything like that. It's all short, 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 short. To practice the spiccato, you can take a, a scale and um, set your metronome to maybe, I don't know, 100 per beat and play four notes. Like that through the whole scale and get used to that feeling. One common thing you need to watch out for is that sometimes we tend to play with our elbow low, close into the body for, for the spiccato. You want to lift your elbow slightly so that you can drop it. When you practice this excerpt, if you're going to practice under tempo, just be careful that you don't start dropping the bow, like getting bigger motions just because you're going slower. Keep it very focused. Now a little bit later in the tune, we have accents and sforzandos, and I would treat those exactly the same. You know, a little accented, or a lot accented, I should say. When you're playing this, just be super careful that you don't put in accents where they're not printed. For instance, it's so um, tempting to play an accent on the up bow. Like that. But we want to avoid that. There's only two accents that are printed. The other thing that I want to mention is related to dynamics. The contrasting section in the middle, uh, it's marked pianissimo. You want to play that at the tip and just use very little bow um, and very light. It's a 
clever. When you're playing an orchestra, it's a little different than a chamber music group. You're playing uh, alone um, because the sound accumulates. So you're having a lot of people playing the same notes and um, the pianissimo is only as soft as the loudest player. So when you think about it, the softer you can play, the better. And um, again, staying at the tip and using a little bowl will help with that. Practice overdoing the dynamics. 475, you see piano with a two bar crescendo to fortissimo. So. Don't give up at the end. Keep that energy going. And um, it goes by very quickly. So the more contrast you can make, um, the better off. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Have fun practicing this week, and I look forward to playing with you when we do have our Orchestra U concert.